the first song I ever wrote was called Debbie Deer, and I was 12. His musical inclinations and his musical talents started long before the age of 12. I, I remember him meeting a girl, and her name was Debbie, so of course, Jack was totally infatuated, totally in love, actually. And uh, the next thing you know it, he comes down the house one day and he's, he's got a song written to Debbie Deer. The next thing I know, Jack's playing the song and my sister and I are the backup singers to his probably his first big hit, Debbie Deer. It was a girl at Riverside, I went to a football game at Riverside uh, High School. And um, she smiled at me. And that's all, I, I thought that was incredible. So I, uh, I wrote a song for, for her, and um, I, I don't even know her last name, I never saw her again. And I think it went like, And the sun comes out each day in a very special way And I love you very dearly, Debbie dear When the moon is bright and you're out late at night I watch you from my window, and you are quite a sight. And when you are frightened, I scare you just in spite. So if he, you, 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 you ever gather, if you ever gather fear, not my finest lyric. So if you ever gather fear, fear, I will always be near And I love you very dearly, Debbie dear That was my big A chord, influenced by the turtles. Musically. I love that, the melodic, the minor to major, minor to major, yeah. No, probably not, you know. I heard that in my head at the football game and then went home and played that, you know. Why did you know that you wanted to do this for your, as a living? As a living. 
Um, I think as soon as I wrote the first few songs and people reacted to them and said that they liked them, I just, I was hooked. And it, it pulled me away from, I was learning classical music with a, a teacher in the area and uh, it pulled me away from learning classical, you know, Chopin and things. And all I wanted to do then was start writing, was playing and writing more and more songs. And I thought I could do this. And, um, and I was also influenced by Darren Stevens on Bewitched. And I, not that he was a jingle writer, but I thought I could do jingles and be in advertising. So Darren Stevens was my first big influence um, from Be Bewitched. You wound up in New York. Do you remember the very first? You went to New York with, with Big Dreams? Big, you, you Fourteen hundred dollars in Big Dreams and two suitcases full of cassette tapes. All right, set it up for me. So I moved. I had, I had Big Dreams of going to New York. I had big. I had Big Dreams of going to New York, and um, I was in. Uh, I had a working relationship at the time with CBS. Uh, the publishing division, CBS Songs. And um, there was enough going on there, uh, enough interest from them, that I thought I can, I can make a break for it. So that's, I left Scranton and, and uh, us, I worked really hard uh, that summer and played a lot of piano jobs and I took $1,400 and two suitcases, um, cassette, double suitcases of, um, of cassettes full of all the songs and uh, without a job and I went out and lived on someone's, uh, I had a, a place where uh, a, a good friend of mine, very dear friend, uh, had uh, an open couch. So I went out and lived on his couch. And, um, and when I got to New York, uh, the, the ironic thing was that CBS within that month was sold to Sony and all the people that I had contacts with <laughs> all lost their jobs and uh, all of the CBS um, contacts for publishing and you know these people were going to really make my uh, songwriting dreams come true. They were all gone. So there I was in New York with $1,400 and a $400 a month rent and no job and my cassettes. What happened on that first night? The first night my mother and another friend and a good friend of mine drove me out and in her hatchback car and we took out, it loaded everything into the apartment. It was on West 45th Street, right off 8th Avenue. Um, and um, they pulled away and I was so nervous and excited that I decided that I would walk around the corner and just take a walk and see the neighborhood. And I walked around the corner and I saw that there was a, a cabaret club that was having um, an open mic uh, contest. And I went in and I talked to the promoters and they said, well, we're all full for tonight, but if you come back over, we will, uh, maybe someone won't show up and you can just walk on. So I went back at nine o'clock and sure enough, they called me over and said, we do have a spot available if you'd like to play. And I said, well, sure, and I went up and I played the song that I wrote, and um, I won the contest. And one one of the one of the what judges one of the judges was uh, one of the original Ink Spots, and I'll never forget. Uh, afterwards, he said, "I sat with him and we had a drink, and he said, you know, if that song was around when the Ink when we were record when we were recording, it, you know, we would have done that song. So it was, you know, but it's." Uh, it's called Bring Back the Blues. I can't go on this way Nothing much to do even less to say since you left me with all this news it 
it's time, baby. Time to bring back the blues. You know, it's funny, I just heard some of the chords from Debbie Deer in there, you know. <laughs> so that was how many songs have you written and or recorded? Uh, I made a list about seven years ago and came up to probably more than 800, but recorded and registered, say with ASCAP or whatever. Um, I've recorded uh, to tape somewhere between two and 300. Do you remember all, all the lyrics? I can't even remember the song. I, I can't remember that one. I used to remember things really well, but not that much. What was the most recent song? Um, I, I just laid down tracks for a brand new song this summer called Up There, but I probably won't even remember it, so I don't know if this is a good question. Um, it's, uh, what's, your, what's one of your, I don't know. doesn't have to be necessarily your favorite, one of your top three favorite songs that you wrote? When people say, play something, you say, oh, this is my go-to song. The go-to song is, um, Quite Like You. And here on this soft and starry night Finding my way into your warm bright light it's hardly a mystery Somehow I knew Nobody loves me quite like you Song that you're one of your least favorite. 